Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball repair video for you this evening. We have done a ton of videos as we work through this F-14 Tomcat that a customer brought us. And we've been fixing it all up. And uh, when we got it in, the thing was in pretty rough shape. But as you can see, we've got it actually up and running. Everything has been meticulously gone through. Uh, and we're down to just a few things that left that need to be done on it. But the biggest problem that the thing has had is that the play field is destroyed. Destroyed. I'm being dramatic. Not destroyed, but it's worn. Okay, so we're going to fix that as good as we can in this video. So if you like that kind of stuff, you'll love this. Basically, it's got a couple issues. Um... The main issue is the thing got dirty and they started having problems with their inserts where they, um, the, the, uh, clear was cracking and all that. It's just the thing has seen some rough days, but unfortunately what they did was they put a big piece of mylar all the way over it, which protected it so it didn't get any worse, but... I can't take the mylar off. The thing is so worn underneath. If I try to take that mylar off, it's just going to peel all of the paint up off of the machine. And that's not good. It's talking to us. <laughs> Such a cool game. So this area down here, I can clean, but I can't clean underneath the mylar. So under the mylar is where all the wear is on the inserts and stuff. So I can't really do anything about that without taking the mylar off. And I can't take the mylar off because it would take up a lot of the, the art that is on the play field. Now, on a newer machine, sometimes you can peel the mylar back off. But on an older one like this, I've tried it several times, not a good idea. If you look, you can see why. See the... See the um, cracks all on top of the paint on that special light there? All that crap starts coming up if you pull mylar on it. This stuff's really strong. And so I've had I've done this in a bunch of videos and people tell me, oh, you can freeze it off. Oh, you can heat it up and just go slow. Well, you know, I've tried it multiple times. It, it does not work on the uh, level of wear that we're talking about here. If you've got a, a nicer condition machine, yeah, you can pull that stuff right off, but I've never been successful with it because we're usually working on really beat up play fields. Um, and I like working on really beat up play fields, but the, um, the Mylar is just an issue. So we're not, gonna be, we're not gonna be doing much with the Mylar. Now, some of the text is worn off these inserts underneath the mylar. But they make a kit with decals that you can put on everything. So we're going to be doing that and see how that looks. And I think that will hide some of the problems with the inserts. You know, this one here is never going to look perfect. But, you know, we're real close to it right now. Once I clean up the mylar and then we put the, uh, the overlay on it, I think it'll look a heck of a lot better. So we're, our, our goal in this video is to make this as presentable as possible to where we can, uh, it'll play good and it'll look fairly good. So we're just going to do the best job we can, get it as nice as we can. Uh, but just like on all of our, our, of our uh, play field videos, the first thing we have to do is take everything off of the play field. So we're going to do that. The ramp up there has already been removed. It's sitting over here. We removed that because we had to work on that Yagoff kicker. Uh, this this game had tons of stuff that didn't work, wires broke, stuff you know not working, and we worked through it in all those previous videos. So go back and watch those if you didn't already, and you can see us do all kinds of work on this thing. I mean, we we did significant work on the uh, MPU in the back box. Had tons of battery damage on it that we that we repaired. We worked on the power supply, we worked on the, uh, a lot of the switches, a lot of the lights etc etc these are the pinballs that have been in it look at the rust on these things that's what's been rolling over this play field that we're about to work on 
Well, look at that. So we're going to throw those away and put new balls in it, of course. Uh, so that's what we're starting with. That's what we're up against. We're going to get it as clean and as nice as we can. I also need to replace all the flash bulbs as I'm doing it. We may have some issues where some of the flashes don't work when, when we're done because I wasn't able to check those since a lot of them are here on the play field. But as we find them, uh, we'll swap them out. But the very first thing I need to do is start taking all this stuff off. I filmed whenever I took the uh, ramp off, so I'll replay that so you can see what that looked like. And uh, then we'll go through and pull all the as much of this off that we can um, so we can get down to, you know, as close to bare wood as possible within reason uh, and then work from there. Stuff like these brackets and stuff, I'm not going to take all that off, but, I, you know, I just basically, everywhere that, that you can see well, I want to get all the plastics off and everything so we can clean everything and get it, get it as nice as possible. Um, so let's check out what we did with that ramp.
Okay, so we got everything off of it, or we're going to take off at least. Um, so we can kind of see what it was like underneath what was on there. No big surprises that I saw. I mean, there's just heavy wear though. Look at that. What do you think? Are we going to be able to do anything with that? Little lamp board over here that the uh, flashers are in. There's a little bit of wear. I don't think we're going to repaint anything. We might, but I don't, you know, I don't think it would really help it much. A little bit up here. All of this up here is pretty well hidden by the ramps and stuff. You can see there's a fairly significant wear, ball wear line there. And yes, there are leaves in the machines. In the machine. This one's been uh, in a guy's storage bin building for a long time. So it's seen better days, but it's about to see better days again. All in all, though, it's not that bad. This part interests me. If you look, mylar, no mylar, mylar. Look at the, just the difference in the color there. So when we clean that, it'll be interesting to see if that gets anywhere near those colors or if it stays darker like that. That's just dirt and grime from the ball and everything that didn't get on this part because there was mylar over it. Some of this mylar is probably factory original. Um, but I don't know. Whenever we clean it, we'll know, because if there's dirt under it, you'll know that it wasn't factory original. They added it after it got some dirt on it. So to the regular viewers, the people that watch every episode, I know you're out there. To the people that watch every episode, you remember on the last episode, I was right here, and we were talking about the pins that go in the, uh, in the power connectors, and I was showing them to you, and I thought one fell out of the bag. Well, it did fall out of the bag. I found it. There it is. Look at this. Look at the wear, people. Look at this. This one's seen better days, like I said. All right. But the cleaning finally begins. After all these videos, I think we're on video number 10. Yeah, I said it. Video number 10. I think we've done 10 videos. After all these videos, we're finally ready to clean the play field. It's been a long time coming. We did a video about the condition the thing was in whenever we got it in. We did a video about rebuilding the power supply. We did a video about taking everything off of the battery damaged MPU. We did another video about putting everything back on uh, the MPU after we fixed the battery damage. We did a video about cleaning up the cabinet, putting brand new legs on it, fixing the beacon motor at the top, and putting the uh, trim back on the uh, translight in the back to make it look good. We did a video about the displays. That's six if you're keeping track. So we ended up swapping in a brand new LC, LED display. It looks great, as you can tell. We did a video about fixing all of the lamps. And we did a video about uh, fixing all of the coils. And we did a video about fixing all of the switches and fixing the hum from the soundboard. And we finally made it to the video where we finally get to clean the thing up a little bit. <laughs> So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to do like I always do. I'm going to uh, literally spray Windex on the play field and just clean up as much of this surface dirt as I can. And you might say, oh no, you're not supposed to use that on a play field. People, come on, we're way past what we need to use normally. We need to get aggressive. If you told me you were going to use a damn wire brush on the play field, I wouldn't object. We need to clean this thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to get it wet, which... You know, normally you wouldn't want to do that with wood, but I'm going to get it wet 
and clean some of this off, you know. Water is needed to clean up that. Come on, you need something wet to clean that up. You can't do it dry. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean up as much of this as I can just to surface clean to get rid of like the leaves and crap that are actually laying on the play field. Get rid of some of this surface dirt and then uh, we'll see what we got left after that. Hopefully that will uh, begin the transformation. Okay, so we just wiped it down a little bit. Got all the, well not all, but the beginnings of the dust and the dirt and the leaves and everything out. Preliminary, didn't go real deep. <laughs> but it already looks a lot better, I think. So this is maybe the shape that they're usually in whenever you get them. So we've gotten it back to at least uh, halfway presentable. Um, so yeah, okay, so next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to hit it with the magic eraser. This magically erases. So if you use a magic eraser and a little bit of rubbing alcohol, get it, get it wet with rubbing alcohol. Uh, it does an amazing job of cleaning up old, dirty, scratched up stuff. So I'm going to show you just a little bit of it. I'm going to set up the camera and show you as I clean this part with the magic eraser. Now I already wiped this down with just, you know, Windex and a, a, a paper towel just to clean it up a little bit. And so it got all the kind of loose, easy to get off dirt, the dust and stuff off of it. But I'm going to show you, if you hit it with the magic eraser, how good it'll get. Now, again, keep in mind, this thing's in pretty rough shape. You see the condition that it's in. So don't expect any miracles, people. We're not going to, we're not going to work miracles tonight. But uh, we can clean it up better than that for sure. So uh, let me set up the tripod and then I'll do that. And what the way I usually do it is, and by the way, I should have mentioned this earlier. I've got all the lights and everything on. You shouldn't do this with the machine turned on. I'm just doing it so that in the video it looks cool, you know. Um, this, the uh, track music's even on right now. <laughs> uh, but uh, you shouldn't do it with the game turned on. So I'm going to turn it. I'm gonna turn, I'll probably do that with it on just so you can see it. But normally I turn it off. But what I do is... I take a little bit of the magic eraser and I go around and I basically hit everything on the play field with it because it allows you to get in all these little nooks and crannies with basically a sponge. You're basically putting a sponge all around every little thing and get in every little thing to where you're at least touching it and cleaning it a little bit. And that's how you get all of the stuff like here where you still got some dust and dirt around this, this uh, ball trail, the habit trail, whatever they call it ball guide so you can take all of that off the play field where you can get down to every little thing um, and that's fine to do that you know but uh, if you use something like this you can get to every little part now that like we mentioned in every video this stuff is like sandpaper basically so you got to be real careful you don't want to go too much if you go too far you'll literally take the paint off down to see see how you see the white there that's the primer underneath it so if you if I take this and start rubbing it on this area right here, it will sand right through the paint. That's how it cleans. It basically sands a little bit of the paint away down to better looking paint, basically. And it takes all the dirt and stuff with it while it's doing that. So you gotta be really careful with it. But you can use it on everything if you're very careful. You know, so if I'm cleaning up around here, I just wanna hit it until it looks pretty nice and clean and then leave it alone. Don't go crazy with it. Don't try to get it perfect, you will, you will make it worse than it is. We've already decided we can't get this perfect because of the Mylar and just the, the general wear of it. It's never going to look brand new again. Uh, so, so you don't want to keep going trying to get it to look just a little bit better, just a little bit better. Uh, and another thing, start at the top up somewhere where you can't see it. Because then you'll get a feel for what it's going to do whenever you start working on it. Like, you know, if you just barely hit it and it leaves a big mark and screws it all up, well, you don't want to do it right here. You want to start up there and do stuff like that, right? So you can get a kind of a feel for it. So I'll set up the tripod. We'll clean up that one little arch there just a little bit. You'll see it lighten a little bit, but it's never going to look new. But uh, I'll show you just how the magic eraser can, can really do wonders and why they call it magic.
magic eraser. It's magical, people. Absolutely magical. That doesn't look new, but it looks a heck of a lot better than that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go all through it. I'm going to clean up every little inch of it. Take my time. I'm going to turn it off and do it without the lights and everything on. And we'll see how clean we can get it, and it'll... I'll just work through it, um, and then we'll decide where we're going to go from there. But it looks like it's going to clean up a little better than I thought. Now, if I get real close to it, you can see that we were just starting to lose some paint. See it? So you got to be careful. So you got to know when to stop. That's when you stop, when it's good enough. I could keep going and try to get rid of these lines, but don't want to do that, people. All right, so let me get cleaning on it, and then we'll see how it turns out. So this is how it will look after you clean all of the junk off of it, but it's still got all of the, uh, magic, eraser, the magic eraser dust on it. But as you can see, most of the dirt has been cleaned off. The real problem on this one, though, is where it meets the mylar, so... We have now confirmed that yes, they put mylar over dirt. So you can see the dirt under the mylar. You can see over here where we were able to clean up most of it. Something you need to keep in mind though, people, is that we're analyzing this and getting right down on it right now because we're trying to get it as good as we can. But whenever somebody's playing it, they don't do all this, right? So it's, real, it's still real dirty because now it has all of that white dust all over it. But you can see that that track up there is almost completely disappeared. So let that be a reminder to you of how far it's came already. And we're just getting started. Right? So, uh, so yeah. So the next thing that we need to do is clean all of this dust off of it. So I'm going to literally wipe it down with a wet paper towel. I'm just trying to clean all of this haze off of it. Uh, and then we'll be, basically we'll have it down to as clean as it's going to get. And we can start building it back and waxing it and all of that. Fixing the inserts, putting everything back on it, etc, etc, etc. So let me wipe it down and we'll see just how clean it ended up before it has any wax or any polish on it. Okay, so this is with all of, this is with all of the haze wiped off. Looking much better. What do you think? Okay, so I took some Novus number two. Now I did a whole other video where we talked about how Novus number two doesn't work for the stuff that I use it on because it's not plastic, but this is mylar. So Novus looks works great on this stuff. So I use Novus on this area right here. And if you look, see how this looks a little more faded? That looks a little darker. It's because it cleaned it up a little bit. So if you let the light hit it, you can see it a little bit. So it's kind of like a polish. So I'm going to use Novus number two on the Mylar. See, this part hasn't been done. So that's no Novus. 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 No Novus. See the reflection? No Novus. Novus. <laughs> so I'm going to use Novus number two on pretty much everything. I'll do the wood too just to make sure. I'm going to use Novus number two on everything to try to at least clean up some of this real dull looking mylar. Because basically it gets little micro scratches in it. And you see how it's lifted from a lot of the inserts and stuff. That's just, there's nothing we can really do about that. But I can try to make it look cleaner and shinier. So I'm going to hit it with the Novus number two and uh, buff, 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 and see if we can get it uh, looking any better. Okay, so this is what it looks like with all of the uh, Novus. Shined it up pretty good, cleaned it up pretty good. Looking much better already, but we ran into a little snag. My plan from the beginning to fix some of those worn inserts. So if you didn't see the earlier videos, basically someone has added Mylar over the bottom half of the play field. We just talked about that a minute ago. And they did it over the inserts that are now worn. 
so there's no way for me to fix any of that because there's mylar over it and I can't pull the mylar off without destroying all the old art because the old art is in kind of rough shape. So if I pull that mylar, a bunch of that art's going to come off. So it's just not a thing that I'm capable of doing. Now, with that said, they make decals that go over the inserts and they make those out of mylar. So you can stick them on to replace missing artwork on your inserts. But the right way to do it is to remove all of the old art. But I can't remove all of the old art because it's under mylar. So I have actually put a few of the decals on it. Okay. But they used a slightly different font. So it won't cover up if like half of the old font is there, you can't put it on there because the new font doesn't line up with it. So you need, the only ones you can put on it are inserts where almost all of the art is missing because then if you, the font's slightly different and in a different place, it doesn't matter as much. So, those three I replaced, but I can't replace that one because there's enough of the font left that the 8K won't line up perfectly with it. If you look at this 4K, you can see it's not perfectly lined up because the font's in a slightly different place on the Mylar sticker than it was on the insert. Same with this one. Same with this one. And so down here, Alpha was pretty worn away, so I was able to put that one on. But I can't put Bravo on because it won't line up with what says Bravo. It just it jumbles it. It makes it where it doesn't line up. Charlie, as you can see, it's kind of clean, but it's a little bit, you know, I had to put it off center and everything else. Same with Delta. Echo, I can't put on because it's nowhere close. Fox and Golf. So, whoever put the Mylar on screwed us permanently. They permanently screwed us. They made it where you can't possibly fix it. <sighs> Interestingly enough, this Mylar up here is factory. You can tell because everything's clean under it. So see how there's no dirt under the Mylar? That's because it was put on at the factory. This Mylar down here though, dirt under the Mylar and inserts with a bunch of the stuff missing under the mylar. So one of your other options would be you could paint it, but if you paint it, you have to clear coat it or it will wear away. I can't clear coat mylar. That's not going to work. It'll just chip off. So we're just going to have to live with it, people. We're going to have to live with it. It is already much, 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 much better. So that's where we're at right now. So I'm going to slowly clean everything and put everything back on it, which will make it look even better and even better and even better. But we can't repair a lot of these inserts. Now these are out in the middle of the play field. If the customer doesn't like them because, you know, that one's darker than that one. If the customer doesn't like them, you can literally peel them right off because it's a Mylar sticker on top of a piece of mylar. So it'll come right off. I know because I already moved one. Um, so that's what we're just going to have to do. So I think though in the balance of things so far it's looking good. We're going to have to replace the flipper. They obviously need replacing. Um, and then as we put all the plastics back on everything will be clean. I've got some uh, uh, decals for the ramp and the plastics that go around the ramp that will make it look really nice. So all of that will look pretty good. The pinball agrees. <laughs> all of that will look pretty good and we've got it mechanically working great. So there's still more to do to make it look nice but it's just those inserts. I was hoping I'd get them a little bit better but it is what it is. So we're long in the tooth on this video so leave your comments below. Let us know what you think so far. Remember, too, people, we're pointing out every little thing. You know, most people, when they walk up, they're not going to notice every little thing, you know. But if I put a sticker on there where it's got two words on top of each other where you can't read it anymore, they'll notice that. So you're better off with having it worn than have something like that on it. 
So we're trying to do it perfect, but, you know, most people, when they walk up, they're not going to notice all that. I've got much worse here. I've got a kiss I could show you that's pretty bad. But, you know, we do what we can. So this is about as good as I think I can get this one. But once we put all the stuff back on, it'll look a lot better. So leave your comments below. Let us know what you think. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it all for you as we took it apart and cleaned it. Uh, make sure to check out My Brother Donnie, which is our brother channel. If you like watching us work on old pinballs and arcade games, you might like watching Donnie and I work on old buildings. We've got some old buildings in a downtown area of a small town near here that we're trying to revitalize to uh, help the downtown area. So go check out that. The channel is My Brother Donnie. It's down below. And... Thank you to everybody that's been using our Amazon links. If you don't know about that, down below there is a link to Amazon. If you are going to buy anything on Amazon, click on our link to take you there, and it gives us a little tip just because you clicked on the link. So we appreciate everybody that's been doing that. And finally, I bet you thought I was done. Finally, make sure to check out our website. Go to lionsarcade.com. You can see all the games that we have available for sale right now. And we also, even if it's in the future, we keep it up to date. And we also uh, have uh, a parts page on there now with a bunch of our stuff on it that's like our uh, um, T-shirts and hoodies and coffee mugs and all that stuff. So go check that out if you want to support the channel. We appreciate it, people. Hope you enjoyed it so far. We'll see you on the next video.